over the past six years, the Pulitzer Center has worked with dozens of very talented women journalists, and I'm glad that one of them, I'm really glad and relieved that one of them is here tonight. Um, Stephanie Sinclair, we're going to show just a snippet, like two or three minutes from the video first, and then, and then Stephanie will come up and talk. Thanks. During sex, I was crying and begging him to stop, but he didn't listen. Then he put his hand on my mouth like this. I couldn't breathe and I was crying, but he used me anyway. And I just cried. My age is eight. The practice of child marriage is common in many parts of the world. It's not exclusive to any particular religion or society. Despite laws that forbid it, long-held cultural traditions die hard. If the current trend continues, more than 100 million more young girls will be married over the next decade. They were decorating my hands with knucks, but I didn't know they were going to marry me off. Then my mother came in and said, Come on, my daughter. They were dressing me up and I was asking, Where are you taking me? They just said, Come, come. And then they performed the wedding. This is kind of, it's, this is the first two minutes of what is um, a nine or ten minute short film that we did. And this came from eight years of working on the issue of child marriage in multiple countries around the world. And um, I started in Afghanistan and then I went to um, uh, Ethiopia, Nepal, Yemen, India. And, and I was, and I even uh, have documented some of it in the U.S., but I'm not quite finished with that part yet. But um, you know, the goal was uh, to kind of show that this issue was prevalent um, in multiple co countries, multiple uh, cultures and religions. And um, and and so I, I agree with what uh, David was saying about you know we really have to make bring our pictures in our projects to be more than visual rep representations of statistics. And so um, for me, one thing that, that really moved me throughout the process of this, of documenting the material for this story, was actually hearing the voices of the girls and, and, and actually seeing some of the, the, the beauty in the weddings. And, and so I wanted to, um, to videotape a little bit of that as well. And, and I did a lot of audio recordings so I could share that with the viewer as well, not just the stills. And, and I think that the stills are a really wonderful way of, of, of getting the issue out. And it's so easy for people to link to things and send a picture through email, although that makes us crazy. But, um, you know, just to kind of, it's getting the issues out and it's much faster and it can go viral faster. Um, however, you know, when, when you make um, something like this, which is 10 minutes, it's, it's perfect to show in a different context that's not so mass media oriented, but can really be, take it to another level when you have a, an audience that can sit there and watch it. So um, we finished this project right before we distributed, I mean, right before um, the issue came out in June that had the story, and we had uh, around the same time, and I had the wonderful opportunity to present this work at um, this film 
at the, uh, the glo uh, a meeting for a global alliance against child marriage. It's now called Girls Not Brides. Um, and it's, it's uh, organized by the elders, which is a group of prominent eminent leaders, um, global leaders who like, uh, it's started by Nelson Mandela and uh, it includes uh, Desmond Tutu, Mary Robinson, Gracia Michelle. And, and basically there, you know, we have some, you know, it, it's, it's an opportunity to get this issue out and, um, and, and on a more global scale. So, so they're using some of my stills, um, but it was in, in their kind of campaign, which is great because they have their own message. They have, you know, they have Desmond Tutu speaking over the pictures or different things. So there's different ways that stills and, and multimedia can work. So, but at the same time, I wanted to do this particular project as a call to action because this was shown in a room of um, different NGO workers, uh, funding organizations, who were all interested in the issue of child marriage. But I think could, I was, you know, in my experience in the field, I really had, had concerns about people forgetting about the stories and the people, people, the people we were trying to help and the girls and children we were trying to help and, and getting kind of caught up in the NGO kind of world that can, that can kind of, of bureaucracies and stuff that can kind of uh, weigh us down. And so that was really, it was really a perfect opportunity to be able to share this work on that, in that context, just, it just over and over about the girls' stories from them, not from a Westerner, not from uh, a researcher or an NGO worker or even a journalist. The, these, these were, this was assembled by, uh, a, you know, journalists um, and my, myself and, you know, we were um, in the producer, but but it was really the story came from everything came in there uh, was in this was from the girls themselves, um, besides like the tiny intro that I did. So it was um, it was really great to have that opportunity, and I think um, and we've it's done really well on YouTube and has been. We've had other organizations want to uh, show the work, other NGOs want to show the the film. So it's I think that there's the different mediums that we choose. Um, can have different effects, and so I think that it's really great to have the opportunity um, these days as um, a visual communicator, as a photojournalist, to have different tools available to us, and uh, and to be able to capture capture what we see and express ourselves um, in various ways. And I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be here amongst such great photographers, and to be here uh, at George Washington University. And so, thank you for having us, and look forward to questions.